So we're going to spend some time thinking about a particular kind of anxiety um, related to excessive worry. Um, the technical term for it is generalized anxiety disorder. So what do we mean by worry? Let's start there. So worry has a signature, a, a, a question that is repeatedly asked. What if? What if this happens? What if that happens? And these streams of negative and catastrophic thinking take us on torturous journeys that feel very real while they're happening and then link on to other things. So, for example, I might worry about this video. What if I said the wrong thing? Um, uh, um, what, what, would, you know, what, what would happen next? Well, perhaps my, my colleagues would look in on me and criticise me for it. The criticism would then lead to the British Psychological Society. They would then investigate me. They would find me inept. They would um, tell me that I'm no longer a psychologist. I would lose my job. Uh, my house would then be in threat. My family would then, you know, be uh, in, in the firing line, etc., etc. So what we notice is that everyday things take on this energy, a bit like the Tasmanian devil, and build and take us into these imagined horror torturous futures um, that then chain on to other things that are important to us like our families like our finances and so on so worry has that particular signature that what if just supposing imagine you know that kind of quality to it and of course the other thing about that worry stream is it often feels very out of control from the person's perspective that there's no sense that they can uh, do anything to stop what's happening so this whirlwind of activity in our mind, this Tasmanian devil of worry, then generates huge amounts of anxiety, anxiety which is felt very viscerally. So uh, butterflies in the, in the tummy, tension in the neck, headaches. Um, other uh, common uh, problems that people have with um, this kind of uh, anxiety are suffering with irritability you know if i'm worrying about something why isn't the person i'm with worrying about it in the same way or i'm spending time worrying about this don't don't interrupt me i'm worrying about this this is important um worry in this way and thinking about that kind of um whirlwind of thinking hijacks our awareness and so our concentration can be really challenged by um, a lot of worry um, and we feel very restless, we can't settle, we can't sit still. So there's a whole range of uh, symptoms that come along with this worrisome thinking. And that worrisome thinking is that engine room that drives this very visceral felt sense. And unfortunately, as it drives that, then our mind picks up on what's going on in our body and that what's going on in our body feels into more worry. What is what? What if my um, health fails? And then it starts again. So, the kind of anxiety that I'm talking about is a particular kind of anxiety called generalized anxiety disorder. Um, it um, has a quality of uh, repeated questions around what ifs and those uh, thinking processes that it generates are like, uh, as I said, whirlwinds, Tasmanian devils in our heads, which really produce a lot of anxiety in our, uh, in our, in our viscera, in our bodies.